Well, good evening again. Um, it's quite late now. It's quarter past midnight. So we're going to do one last thing in this first session where we've set up our uh, welcome to the department and our table of contents. We've got all these wonderful things here. Um, and I'm, I'm just going to do one thing before we get on to blogs. Okay. Uh, this table of contents is in three columns. And, it, and then, frankly, it looks pretty ugly. Okay, so contrary to what I have said before, where we only pretty things up, um, I'm just going to do a very, very quick thing. Watch. I'm going to edit the web part. And I want this list in one column. So I'm going to go to Appearance. No, I'm not. I'm going to go to Layout. No, I'm not. Where are you? Aha. I'm going to go to Presentation. Um, and I'm going to choose one from the display columns. Um, now, if I click OK, this toolbox will disappear. Uh, so I'm just going to press Apply, and you'll see the change happen. Bingo. One column. Looks much nicer, doesn't it? Yes, is the answer. Uh, so with that said, let's go off and uh, start creating some teacher blogs. Because if you remember... I did say that one of the things that's really, really going to pay dividends for you in the short term, very quickly indeed, is, is some staff blogs. So I'm going to show you how to create staff blogs um, later, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I'll make some videos for how you get your blog and you make it look nice and you can put loads and loads of interesting things in it. Okay. First thing, view all site content. Um, this is the site site. We know this well. We're going to create. See, here's all the things we've created before. And uh, we're going to create a site. Um, and it's a blog. There it is. Ta -da! Now, a blog is a. If you've never done this before, it's great fun. Okay, and um, you'll get to enjoy it. And uh, the kids. But when they see you blogging and sharing the blog content with them, um, weirdly, it, it, it draws you closer together as a class. Um, it, it just somehow does it. It's a site for a person or a team to post ideas, observations and expertise that site visitors can comment on. That's interesting. Site visitors are pupils, so they can comment. So you can have a dialogue with your class outside the classroom. And managing in your own time. So we're going to call it a name. Um, so um, I'm Mr. Feather. So I'm going to call it Mr. Feathers. Apostrophe S. Thank you. Um, and we'll have a gap between Mr. and Feather. Um, blog. Uh, which stands for web blog uh, in the old days. Now we have to give it um, a name on, on the site. We have to give it a URL. So click in here. And uh, Mr. Feather blog. Uh, no punctuation this time because um, it's going to be uh, a computer reading this, not a human. Create. And uh, the familiar spinning green disc meets us once again and uh, it's, it's quickly getting it together. And it's much quicker this time because actually a blog is, is, is quite a quick thing. Now I will go through all these different things at a later date but suffice it to say this is going to be the thing which you're going to spend the most time interacting with your class. Using this, you will be able to do uh, personalised learning, um, assessment for learning, you'll be able to conduct polls, you'll be able to have discussions, uh, comments by kids. It, it becomes a truly interactive, in, in the true sense of the word, not in that fake way in which it's often used, truly interactive way that you will be able to uh, sort of work with your class and your students. Um, we'll have to leave that for later, but I'll show you basically what, you know, what that is. So that's Mr. Feather's blog, okay. And uh, if I was going to do any editing now, okay, I'm not editing the science page because SharePoint has made a separate website. That's what this is. Uh, a separate website um, for my blog. So if I do any of the normal actions that you've seen us doing before, edit page, blah, 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 all of these things, well, they don't um, mean anything to do with the science site. They mean only things to do with the blog. 
and there's loads of things you'll see down here categories eventually we'll change these categories and we'll add them okay and you'll change the name of category one to be a class that you teach category two will be another class that you teach I think. Um, and we'll see over here how to create a post later on and how to manage manage posts uh, which is easy how to manage comments okay uh, and um, add all sorts of interesting things because all the things that we could add to the science site or your department site we can also add to our blog and so we can make it as interactive um, as we want and um, so that's that um, Mr Feathers blog is created so now I'm just going to go backwards in my browser button go back to the home science section uh, and we should see with a quick refresh there we go single column view uh, oh Mr Feathers blog ha ha now, all of these things underneath are things that will be of interest to your classes, libraries of documents. In other words, just like we made libraries for the science department, libraries of documents for your own personal blog, you have a worksheet, for example, that you want to share, that's going to go into that library. You have some pictures you want to share, well, that's going to go into a pictures library. You have some links to interesting places that you want to share through your blog, well, that's going to be there posts the things that you write about uh, on a sort of daily uh, basis and comments and other categories there and uh, importantly for AFL how can I say that again importantly for AFL okay and peer marking peer conversations getting kids to talk to each other about stuff are discussions and lastly surveys yes you can make your own surveys on your own blog so there we go and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off and make blogs for the rest of my department um, and in a later video I'll show you exactly how a blog works how to put posts in and all the rest of it to make it great and uh, I would suggest that at this point blogs once the mainstay of your site is kind of sorted out. Blogs is the thing that you really need to cut your teeth on in terms of uh, your SharePoint skills um, and, and these skills are fairly generic you know they, uh, they cross over into all other sort of um, blogs and blogging platforms as they're called uh, across the web. You know, the skills you learn here will be skills which you can take into any other virtual environment as well. Okay, well that's it. It's late. It's uh, 22 minutes past midnight and uh, some science teacher has to go and sleep. So um, that's it from me. Goodbye.